in the gate. And they're off. Alabama Wildcat and Dudap Blues fire out of there nicely. Dixieland Bull is up close to. La Hiana misses away fourth and down inside. Smokey Ritz did not break the best, but is up to be fifth and is three lengths behind to ahead of El Rebecca. Frister Noble Lee is at the back as the field races for the far turn run. Dixieland Bull through in the inside of Alabama Wildcat and a three wide Dudap Blues. These three battle it out. Far turn run. Two lengths ahead. La Hiana miss down inside. Under a snug hold is La Hiana miss. Smokey Ritz is there toward that one's outside. El Rebecca's in behind this leading group, going to try and find a way out as the field turns for home. Dudap Blues on the outside of Dixieland Bull head-to-head -head right down to the eighth pole. Smokey Ritz comes out on the far outside. La Hianimus fights on toward the rail. El Rebecca's trying to put in a late bid. Sixteenth out. Dudap Blues up alongside of Dixieland Bull. Dudap Blues short lead. Late run on the outside. El Rebecca, here's the finish. Dudap Blues. Dudat Blues wins by three quarters over Dixieland Bull. El Re Dudat Blues moves in. In the gate. And they're off. And Dudat Blues on the far outside breaks well. Wild Whispers does too. Here's Wild Whispers tugging up to grab the lead. A bit hard to handle as she actually caused Raina to veer in toward the inside just a bit. So a tough to handle. A quite restive. Wild Whispers really hard up top. Leads by two. Raina running in second position. Dudat Blues is out in third. Dance from the get-go. Fourth and in the clear. On the outside about two and a half lengths off the lead down the back stretch run. And then it's six shoes and feisty pass. Patsy at the back. The trailer's about four lengths behind the leader, Wild Whispers, who settled a bit more up top after a quarter in just 23 and three-fifths seconds. Under four for longs to go. Wild Whispers out of the fire. Turn leads a length and a quarter. Dance from the get-go. Revs up on the far outside. So does Raina. So does Dudap Blues. And now four of them across the racetrack. Three furlongs out after a half in 47 and four-fifths seconds. Six lengths back. Six Shoes has moved into fifth, but a lot of ground to make up as the battle continues up top. Turning for home. Dudette Blues. Slim lead off the turn. Raina trying to fight back in second. Dance from the get-go. Swings wide third. Wild Whispers gives way fourth. One furlong left. Dudette Blues up for the lead. Raina tries to fight back, but is still second. Dance from the get-go is third. Sixteenth to go. And it's Dudette Blues pulling away through the stretch. Dudette Blues scores at three to five by four on the wire. Raina was second. Dance from the get-go and six shoot. And they're off from the opener at Delta Downs. Bit of a slow start for Khaki Kane right down on the inside. Philly Pepper came away running with Sugar Princess, who's up close. Top Cat Style moves up the inside, and to the outside, it's cruising for Kristen, who got away in fourth and is in the middle of the track. It's another three lengths back to Lucas in motion. That was in the fifth spot and about six off the pace. Three lengths back then to Pete's Biddy Bug. Then on the far outside, you'll find Special Jewel Ray. It's another six or so then to I Do Care. Is not showing much early speed, and the slow-starting Khaki Kane is the trailer. Around the far turn they go. The quarter went in 22-39, and it's Philly Pepper who has the lead by two and a half. Top Cat Style looks to get there from second. Has some work to do on the outside. It's Sugar Princess coming up the inside as Lucas in motion. Then comes cruising for Kristen, who's dropping back, and special Jewel Ray. But here's the top of the lane. Philly Pepper set down for the drive, a sixteenth of a mile to go. She's clear by four. Coming up the inside is Lucas in motion. Then Top Cat Style and Sugar Princess. But this one goes to Philly Pepper. Lane and running at the fairgrounds. Level start, and a good start it was for Mead River and Cupid's Hit up alongside. With St. Darien right there running in third, Cajun Streaker in fourth. Beach Hat fifth and toward the rail and five from the front. Minnie Rahi has six lengths to raise in a final four and one half furlongs and T. Earl trails. Heading to the half mile pole, Lead River by half to three quarters to Cupid's Hit and St. Darien lies just off the speed. The quarter went at 22 and two fifth seconds. Cajun Streaker is a wide fourth. At the inside, Beach Chat, then Mini Rahi, and Tyrrell still has some catching up to do. They move to the far turn. Lead River narrowly holds Cupid's hit, and St. Arian now poised to join. So three across the track coming toward the quarter pole. Cajun Streaker is next. Mini Rahi still five lengths back, and then Beach Chat and Tyrrell has trailed. Into the stretch. Half mile, 46 seconds flat. They're in the final furlong and a half. Lead River holding on to this lead by three. Nearest the inside Cajun streaker. Cupid sit under pressure. T. Earl rallies up the fence. Mini Rahi on the far outside. Well inside the final 16th for Kerwin Clark. Here's Lead River. 
And Lee River reports on by four from any right and the wrong. Mascalino broke fast from the rail for James Graham and is going to the front straight away. Mascalino, the favorite, leads early. Leads cheap eggs by a length and a half. Four Joes is right there on the outside top cat, horrific, and midway mine, the one at the rail. As they go past the half-mile pole, two left shoes is pulling hard between horses. Two left shoes right there up with his pace. And then we come back in the field to Arkansas Martini. The quarter 22 and fourth goes seconds. It's Mascalino. Mascalino led past the three for long pole with cheap eggs right there as they come toward the top of the stretch. Then the two left shoes. Here's the inside dropping back was Midway Mine. Four Joes is next. Arkansas Martini and Top Catarific is last. Under a quarter to run and Cheap Eggs having a go right now at Mascalino. Cheap Eggs and Mascalino and these two now into the final furlong. They're clear of two left shoes. Four Joes and Arkansas Martini fifth. Final 16th. Mascalino just holds Cheap Eggs. Mascalino at two to five. Mascalino prevails from Cheap Eggs. So they're in the gate. And they're off in the third and Delta Downs. Good break on the outside by High Anxiety, but here comes Green Times 2. Now up to stick ahead in front, it's Green Times 2 and High Anxiety going at it. On the outside one, Dolio DR now gains the lead. Up there in fourth early is Fast Interest as they've left the chute. They're midway up the backstretch. Advancing on the inside is Ruler's Prayer. That one's racing just in front of over a barrel to the far outside. Between horses, it's Leestown Magic. At the inside is Penthouse Casanova. That one's trapped in traffic and about six off the lead. Up and off the rail is Twin City Thunder moving up from second last. And now your trailer is Z Tough. They're coming for home. Wandolio DR leads it by two and a half lengths. High anxiety trying to hang in there. Over a barrel racing in third. Ruler's Prayer is now fourth. And down along the inside, it's Green Times 2. They've straightened away, and High Anxiety now has taken the lead. It's High Anxiety in front. Late run coming from Leestown Magic. Here comes Penthouse Casanova. Absolutely exploding late in Penthouse Casanova. is going to get up and win this one by almost a length on the line over Leestown Magic. And they're off in the third at Delta Downs. Coming away a step slow is Inspiration Rodeo on the outside. Terrific Indy grabs the early lead but has plenty of competition. Lucked out moves up in the white cap. The favorite Classic Savvy is right there battling for the lead. On the outside at Southern City and between horses Menhall Baby along with My Red Girl. Huge scramble for the lead midway up the bank stretch. It's a break of about two lengths to that first-timer. Peyton's Kiss is well off the rail, racing right behind the leaders. Then it's six lengths back to Eve's Blossom, who's about eight lengths off the pace. Back along the inside is Inspiration Rodeo, who's out of the trailer spot, and it's a long ways back to Dance and Sting, who is that trailer. Terrific Indy has the lead as they round the far turn. Battling it out here for second is lucked out on the outside at Southern City. As dropping back is Classic Savvy on the inside. She's hard-pressed to catch up. My Red Girl is next to her. Then on the outside, Eve's Blossom. But they've straightened away. Terrific Indy and Randall Toops own a two-and-a-half or a three-length lead. Lucked out's trying to get there in second but won't do it. This one goes to Terrific Indy in race number three. Second was lucked out. Third.